It looks like Xi Jinping's regime in China is saying that they are furious after the U.S. has sailed several different warships through these waterways that are heavily contested right now. This is in the South China Sea. And as the headlines read here, they warned them to leave and they shadowed them with multiple vessels. Now, the United States and other countries are stating that this is an area of international travel and that anyone can go through here and that them sailing through there is showing that. And that the moment in which they can no longer go through here, there's going to be problems. Well, this area in particular has a lot of eyes on the Spratly Islands. You have the, par the Parcel Islands that are here, but the Spratly Islands are key. And when you look at this map, you're going to see down here below Brunei and Malaysia. Brunei, their claim comes out here. Malaysia's runs here, then you have Vietnam's, runs here. China trying to say that everything out here is theirs, all the way up to the edge of the coastlines of all these countries. And the Philippines and the yellow here coming out too. But if you notice, there's one little area here inside the Spratly that every single one of them are trying to claim. There's one little spot that every single one of them are trying to claim. I find that very interesting. And we'll see what comes of this here now because the United States making deals with Taiwan. You see what's going on in Hong Kong. The United States selling these ships this close. But I raised the question before, what would happen if China was taking their ships between the Florida Keys and Cuba that close? I don't think the United States would like it one bit. So, I'm kind of expecting something like that to happen, whether it's Russia backing them on a move or a mission, just going to Cuba to visit, just to flex their muscles and say, hey, you guys are doing it, we're going to do it too. Now, a lot of different big-time things have fell apart here on the world stage in terms of... Uh, deals and like the, the, the nuclear arms treaty or the treaty that was between Russia and the United States that has now fell through. It still went down the tubes. Not to mention on top of that now all of a sudden the open skies treaty they're saying that they're done with. So all these deals that were put into place to try to keep peace ever since the Cold War so to speak they're falling apart left and right here on the world stage. But in this instance China not happy. And that's an update here on this region and what's going on. Make sure to tune in to Underground World News Live every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern on Dabu 77. Much love.